Hey guys, so this video is just going to be a quick one. What we're going to do is we're going to create our methods in the search page and we're just going to create our bindings for those methods. And then in the next few videos, we're just going to fill those out. Okay, so firstly, we need to create our methods. So the first method we're going to create is going to be called mission drop underscore inside underscore list underscore box. So this is when we go, this is the method that runs when we drop a file inside the list box. So we're just going to do pass. Next is the display file. So next def underscore display underscore file self and the event. So what this is going to do is when we drop a file into, um, when we click on, when we double click on a list box selection, this should display the file itself into the tree view. Okay, or our data table in our case. And then next is we need to pass the file name. So pass underscore drop underscore files. And this will be a lot clearer in the next video. File name. And then lastly, we just need a search table. So dev search underscore table self and event pass. Okay, cool. So then we just need to bind um, bind the widgets to these methods. So the D and D bind, as I explained in my previous video, is um, when this drop event is triggered. Only the D and D bind can recognize this drop event, but when it's triggered, it's going to run self dot drop underscore inside list box. Remove the parentheses. Okay, so now this drop is now binded to this callback or function method. Okay, and then this one's double click on the left key. It's going to do self dot underscore display underscore file. And then lastly, the return key. So when the return key is hit on the search box, it's going to search the um, data table or tree view. Search underscore table. Okay. So that's it for our bindings. And then in the next video, um, we're going to start implementing these functions or these methods. Okay.